Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Jack Graham here, Realtor with Simply Vegas, showing you the beach floor plan. For the first time here in Las Vegas being uh, modeled by Taylor Morrison. Now, this home is located in West Summerlin. We're located uh, right on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley. We have a gated community with 126 homes planned uh, for Crested Canyon, which is uh, the name of the community. We have, it's gated as I mentioned, we have a nice park right there for the community. HOE fees are a total of $150, which uh, are uh, specifically uh, $95 for this community and $55 for the West Summerlin community. And then we have a SID of $11,000 that is left to if you were to purchase one of these homes. Now, we do have uh, some lots ranging anywhere between $10,000 all the way up to their most expensive lot, which is $200,000 with a 8,000 uh, square feet lot uh, with beautiful strip views and mountain views. Now, we have on this model, 1,813 square feet with uh, three bedrooms and a loft for a beautiful starting price of $541,000. And uh, we have uh, lot premiums ranging anywhere again, as I mentioned, from 10,000 all the way up to 200,000. But I would say the most there's only one lot at 200. All the other ones are at about, you know, 110 max, depending if they have views or not. Beautiful entrance with the foyer. It does really resemble a lot the Acacia floor plan, which has only three bedrooms with no loft. But this one, it feels a lot open here. And this one, very, very nice floor plan. Uh, very similar to the Acacia, I would say. It does have quite some upgrades in this model and we're going to go through them together. We have a uh, beautiful open floor plan. And those are the included windows, as you can see here downstairs, plenty of light coming in from all sides. Nice size dining room. And then this is an eight foot door uh, included to the backyard and also eight foot door in the front yard as well is included. We have a nice covered patio included in the, uh, in the base price as well for 540 and what can I say? I love it. I love it so far. Can't wait to see the upstairs with you guys. But you can also add here by getting rid of this window, you can add a 12 foot center meat sliding door. So it'll be twice the size as this one in width. So it'll be coming probably from there ending all the way where that window ends right there. I'm gonna go over some upgrades, what's included, what's not included. You get a ceramic tile in the kitchen, uh, bathrooms, uh, laundry room, and, and the entrance. Here in the living room, your dining room is gonna be carpet. It's gonna be a lush carpet. That's the included option. If you wanted to upgrade to, and it's not gonna be this kind of tile, okay? So if you wanna upgrade to this tile and extend it everywhere, you're probably looking at around ten to fifteen thousand dollars. If you were uh, to upgrade also the carpet to what they upgraded here, we're looking at approximately for this one about five to six thousand dollars on top of the base price. Okay, and then depends if you add the the plush underneath that could range anywhere between a thousand to a thousand five hundred. Many on the quality. So many options that you can choose at the design center. As far as the kitchen, however, if we go back here, we have countertops included, our granite countertops. Here we have a granite countertop. This is a level two, uh, sorry, we have a quartz countertop here. The included is granite, but here we have a level two uh, quartz countertop. And then we have GE appliance package included, which will be a push-in stove. Similar to this one, stainless steel, but this is an upgraded one. This is about $3,500 to have this package that you see right here with the can uh, with the um, GE microwave as well. It's all GE, this appliance package. And the refrigerator is not included, okay? So that will be an upgrade that you can choose at the design center as well. Probably gonna range anywhere between at least $2,000 or more. 
Over here, they also upgraded a single base to the single basin undermount. It comes with the undermount, but it'll have a split here in the middle to have uh, two bowls. And we have uh, an upgraded faucet as well in this model. It does come with the RO system, however. So that would be right here already included. Now it doesn't have a full RO system. Like uh, you can also, you can upgrade to that one for about $500 to get the full reverse osmosis, but it does come with some filters. I definitely don't advise you, however, to drink from that water because it's still not very well filtered. Cabinets does have an upgrade here. Now the included cabinet is a 36 inch cabinet. Similar to this one, it's the pure LS style, either in white or gray is included. It will be a little bit higher because this is 30 inch. It will be about 36 included. You can go up to 42 included, which would be about that height. Or you can add the second uh, row on top, just like they did on this one. You can do the, the glass finish and all of that. Just that, uh, that row right there is gonna run you around $5,000 or even more. Now, to go from the 36 inch included to the 42 inch, it's approximately uh, $1,500. For uh, this kind of countertop here, we're looking at with a level two at about three to 4,000. And it depends if you add it in the bathrooms or not. But when you upgrade the cabinets, for example, now this is not the pure LS style. This one is actually um, a wood cabinet and it's painted white. Okay, it also added the soft close, sorry, not, yes, the soft close with the ductile finish here on the sides. So when you see this hardwood right here with the ductile, that's an upgrade. Just a, uh, the soft close like this is gonna run you around $2,000 because it upgrades the quality of the cabinets inside. Okay, trash can here. So to have the trash included in the island, it's $860. And then if you want the soft close, that's gonna be an extra, as I mentioned, uh, $2,000. And if you want, all these cabinets all the way up it's going to be extra but also this style of cabinet it's an upgrade compared to the included pure ellis even though it's very similar of a cabinet uh, but that would be an extra two to three thousand for that cabinet so just to keep in mind and give you a good perspective of what's included and what's not included in this model so you can get an idea okay is this the right option for me or not if you guys appreciate this and you need a realtor to help you out feel free to reach out to me all my information is down below so i can help you purchase a home giving you all the information you need when it comes to new construction or if you decide to go resale i can help you there as well now this would be your access to your garage from here you have the two car garage very spacious size garage and then we have here your pestle sink and your uh, toilet for your powder room it feels pretty spacious for a powder room in this size of the home okay i don't think i forgot anything inside the house we have nine foot ceilings included in the base price on both floors and we have uh, lots of upgrades for your lighting here we have uh, recess lights added here for about 700 the pre-wire here would be another 300 uh, actually that pre-wire is included in the bedrooms if you want to add one it's 300 and then these lights however are included if you want something like this with three pendant lights you can get the pre-wire for about 450 and then when you go to the design center you can choose the fixtures if you want or purchase them after as we go outside We'll see our six foot wide sliding door going out to the covered patio, which is also an included option. As we go out, uh, we'll find some uh, very good size backyards. We're looking at about 35 feet here in depth by 30 wide. The house is about 20, 20 feet wide. And we have uh, five feet on each side, actually 25 feet wide. And we have uh, about 35 feet in, in width. Over here in this one, we have about 40 feet in your backyard. Backyard is gonna come with a block, uh, br uh, you know, with the brick uh, fence right here. It's gonna be about six foot high from the highest elevation. So if you have a lot next to you that is higher elevated like this one, it'll be six foot from that, uh, from that elevation up, okay? Nice uh, covered patio. This is the built-in option and it's included in the base price. If over here, you wouldn't get any fire pit or anything. It's gonna be just dirt. The only thing included is the paver underneath the covered patio, as well as the covered patio. Over onto the sides, it looks like we have a good size uh, back here. The fence is brought up all the way to the side of the house over there, which is nice. And you have a separation wall right here between you and your neighbor. Now, in this case, they added the view fence, but that's something that you can uh, 
uh, it's not going to be an option and they do it at the models just to show you the other lot how big it is comparing the other floor plans beautiful mountain views in the back of this house uh, these are some of the views that you can get uh, depending on the lot that you purchase over here we don't have any obstruction there is uh, some commercial land owned by Howard Hughes and uh, also they own some more land back there and it's all going to be commercial we just received directly from the owner um, notice that uh, and uh, I was supposed to tell my client about this I need to <coughs> reach out to him that the house that he bought is not gonna have any obstruction when it comes to this uh, to the street views because they're they're building a pretty much parking area so somewhere to park your car and go hiking because we're right off the mountains and that's their plan for their commercial area okay. nice size storage here underneath the stairs Yeah, I'm loving this floor so far. Let's get upstairs. Now, we do have an upgraded stair rail on this model. Uh, I wanted to give you the exact price, but while we go up there, don't forget, you know, hit that like button, guys. It really helps out the, the channel, you know, grow and, uh, you know, get more people interested in watching these videos if you hit that like button, okay? So do that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think about this, uh, this floor plan. As we go here, we'll find uh, your stair rails, which uh, if you were to get the mission paint grade, so it would be pretty much white stair rail, just like this on this style, also like this, but it will have the vertical wooden banisters, white. That would be $2,200. If you were to go with something like this, with the horizontal banisters, you're looking at around $5,000 for the amount of stair rails that this one has. All right, so we we'll walk upstairs. We have a great size loft that oversees that, that foyer area right there. Connecting to the downstairs, over to the left side, we have the separation between your master bedroom to the left and then the other two bedrooms on that side. Very efficient floor plan if you want something like a three bedroom with a loft. This is the floor plan that you want to buy. I mentioned your starting price on this one is $541,000. The lowest uh, price is spec home. So that would be one of the homes all finished by them and you can purchase today is $636. 1645 okay that will give you a good idea of what uh you know a regularly upgraded home well nicely upgraded home will give you when you purchase out here so lot premium on this lot that they're showing right here is 30,000 as you can see we have a base price of 540 $65,000 options that they added to the house for a total of 636 okay just to give you an idea of where you're gonna be if you wanna make it look something like this. They also have these uh, wooden cabinets right here, as I mentioned downstairs. On the sinks, we have the uh, undermounted sink. It's gonna be rectangular just like this, including the base price and undermount. However, here we would only get one sink, but if you wanna add the second sink over here, it'll be $2,045. Then right here we have also your fiberglass enclosure if you want to add the brush nickel finish like this one because the included is chrome if you want to add, uh, add the brush nickel you're looking at an extra price of three thousand and fifty dollars for everything out here okay so all the faucets all the the towel hangers the toilet paper uh, holder everything all the hinges on the doors, all of that is $3,050. All the, the trim around the, the bathrooms, you know, around the, the shower and the master, which we'll go in a second. And all the hardware here on the doors with all the hinges, okay? That's all within that $3,050. Linen closet right here. Now, they also upgraded in this model to an eight foot door. And let me show you what that is, which is that. So we have an eight foot door with nine foot ceilings. 
Now the included option is six foot eight door. You want to bring it up to eight uh, to eight foot. It's seven thousand one hundred dollars for that. Slide in your closet. A very good size bedroom, ten by twelve at least, with the nine foot ceilings upstairs. It's really nice to have. The other bedroom out here, right next to it, it's about the same size, ten by eleven. This one is a little bit smaller, with the slide in our closet over there. Okay, now the bedrooms don't get any, uh, don't get anything. They don't get the pre-wired. They don't get the recess lights. If you want to add those, it's about seven hundred for four recess lights with the switch, and then another pre-wire with another switch right there with two switches uh, would make it for another three hundred dollars. You can add that. Showed you the laundry room right here. Uh, washer and dryer not included. Just a rack on top, and then you get this uh, smart panel to connect your internet and all the good stuff that you can get really good size loft i love how the loft separates the owner suite from the other two bedrooms when oh, you also have the laundry room so it's a very efficient layout i think over here we do have the double window it comes with only one window in the in the owner suite you can upgrade to the second one for a thousand four hundred dollars definitely is worth it if you're getting a mountain view like this one also they included on some of the homes that do have mountain views they included a covered balcony outside so that you can really enjoy those mountain views uh, you know on a nice chill summer night or morning maybe all right going into your owner's bathroom we have the extended luxury shower uh, this one is going to run you approximately around $9,000 to have this with your uh, glass finish right here. It's going to have the thicker glass. Also, when you upgrade to the brushed nickel finish, right there, those trims are going to be brushed nickel. Something to consider if you plan on doing your own, uh, you know, faucets later. And, you know, you get, for example, you change this out, the valve and the shower head. Then you're going to get those black, for example, and you have chrome finish over here included. That doesn't really look nice. So something to consider. You might have to do with them. Also, let's say your tile here. This is something you choose at the design center. So you can choose the shoulder here uh, to make it whatever color you want, actually. So something to consider. Same thing, the trim here on your, on your glass mirror. Those are things that you have to consider. That's why sometimes it's better just do it with them. Um, upgrade that that brush nickel finish because it will give you everything you need to make it uniform you know with the whole house this hardware is going to cost you around a thousand and fifty dollars to add all this hardware throughout the house it's the gold finish on this one you get your water closet to the right and then a nice size walk-in closet okay I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you need a realtor to represent you and do your best interest, don't go to the sales office. Reach out to me first. That way I can help you out throughout this whole process and be your realtor. If you walk into the office or you sign up online by yourself, I'm not going to be able to represent you because the builder will not uh, you know, pay for my commission. So in order to get that right representation and to get you to the right place, because you might think that this is the right place for you, but maybe it's not. I'm going to be the person that can answer that question for you and show you all the neighborhoods out here that could be the best option for you. So feel free to reach out to me. I'll be really appreciative, uh, appreciative uh, for that and I'd love to earn your business. Also, like always, as usual, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the next one.